right guys, we are back. It is so great to see you here with me today and happy Easter. Well, you know what, actually, I'm recording this on Easter. You'll probably see it tomorrow. So in retrospect, hey, I hope you had a great Easter. I hope you had a great weekend. And today guys, we're gonna be talking about this thing right here. It's a gear review time, this tripod right here. Matter of fact, I got this bad boy in the mail about six months ago. It's the Colorado Tripod Company Centennial Tripod. Now I fully admit that I'm a bit of a tripod snob. You see, I use the Pro Media Gear tripod as my primary tripod, and then I use the Peak Design, ooh, I almost dropped that, the Peak Design travel tripod when I'm doing my travels and so forth. In other words, guys, the Centennial tripod right here has a lot to live up to, but, in this five minute review, or we're gonna to try to keep it at five minutes, I'm gonna give you the inside look at this tripod and you can decide if this is the right tripod for you. So, let's get that timer started right now. All right guys, let's call a spade a spade. I had never, up to this point, had ever used any product from Colorado Tripod Company before, so when I got this, I wasn't really sure what to expect before I unboxed it but I was pleasantly surprised with the specs and the features of this thing. It has a unique cage-like apex, which is great for shaving down weight and hell, it looks cool as ever. It has a maximum height of 50 inches without the center column, and with the center column, you're able to get a height up to 62 inches. It's got an ultra low 3.3 inch minimum height, which is fantastic addition for those unique low angle shots that you wanna get. The collapsed length is 20.5 inches, which makes it easy to transport. It'll fit in most camera bags. It weighs around three pounds without the center column and just over three pounds with the center column. With those specs, you get a sense of how versatile this tripod can be and how easy it can be to pack up and take with you on your photography adventures. But what about the build and quality of this thing? All right, build, quality, and handling. When you dive deep into the construction of this tripod, guys, you quickly realize that there's more than meets the eye. If you look at the apex, you can see the holes and by eliminating metal from the top area here you save some weight but I know what you're thinking you're thinking hey but Alex how much weight could I possibly even save well you know what even if it's just a couple ounces that's still a couple ounces that you don't have to go lugging around and if you've ever gone on a long backpacking trip you know exactly how much the difference that comes from shaving an ounce here and a shaving an ounce there can make in the overall weight when you're carrying things for a long distance the leg angle locks are smartly built too they're spring loaded so you can engage and disengage them with one hand which is handy <laughs> <laughs> when you're out in the field. All right, bad humor aside. The leg angle locks are a breeze to use and combined with the easy twist lock mechanics on the four section legs, you have a rig that's extremely easy and quick to set up. Speaking of legs, they're made of super rigid carbon fiber and while they aren't as beefy as what's on my Pro Media Gear tripods, they're still pretty hefty, particularly for a $300 tripod. Besides, the leg angles are 25 degrees, which is a bit wider than what you would normally find, and that wider stance helps stiffen the tripod and makes it much more standing, which of course is a very good thing. Now, for the performance of this thing, this tripod is rated to hold up to 50 pounds, which is, man, plenty. It's actually more than most of us are actually going to use on this thing. Since I'm primarily shooting with a Canon EOS R and RF lenses, I'm nowhere near the weight capacity of this thing. Even with my heaviest lens that I have, which is what we're filming on right now, the 2870 uh, F2, that pig right there weighs 3.1 pounds. The Canon EOS R is 1.5 or 4.6 pounds. So as you can see, nowhere near having to worry about anything. But I have every confidence I could load this tripod up and not worry about the stability of it one bit at all. It has nice big rubber feet for traction and a center column hook for adding ballast for added stability. So all you DSLR shooters out there with those Gynamis lenses that you have, Gynamis, yeah, you know what, go with it, Alex, just own it. Those huge lenses that you have out there, this tripod is going to handle anything that you're gonna throw at it. Now, as I noted earlier, the leg angle locks on the top of this tripod are absolutely ingenious and make for one-handed operation an absolute breeze. The twist leg locks function the same way as well, allowing you to deploy the tripod in short order. Everything feels extremely well made, from the stiff carbon fiber uh, legs on this thing all the way up to the CNC machined aluminum apex. Fantastic. Let's take a deep dive into the pros and cons. Now, I think the first advantage of this tripod is that it is so 
well made. And you really get appreciation of that. Again, guys, I've been beating the hell out of this thing for the last six months. And here's something that to factor in, it's hard to make a mark in the tripod world given there's so many really excellent options out there. But these guys have definitely impressed with the design and the construction of this tripod. Another distinct pro is the strong stiff carbon fiber legs. Again, I'm coming from the pro media gear world. So the bar is set awfully high for high strength yet lightweight legs. And are these legs of eco quality of the Pro Media Gear? No, but are they fantastic for a $300 tripod? Hell yeah, they are, absolutely. So the price of $300 is another advantage in my book. As far as I'm concerned, this tripod fights way above its class, way above its class. I've seen and tested many tripods that were way more expensive and had less to offer than this tripod does. Okay, on the downside, this tripod is a little bit on the short side at just 50 inches without the center column. I'm a tall guy, so that's way below my eye level, but even for the average height people, it's still gonna be a little bit on the low side. Sure, the center column brings it up to 62 inches, but that reduces the stability and since the tripod is so darn stable, it's a shame to minimize that with the center column. The Centennial is also on the bigger side in terms of weight and collapse size, especially for a tripod that is deemed as a travel tripod. Now, of course, my perspective might be a tad bit skewed because of the ultra compact size of the Peak Design travel tripod. Still, I think a tripod that's marketed for a travel should be a little lighter and have a smaller collapsible size than 3.3 pounds and 20.5 inches. All that being said, I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons in this particular case. This is really, really a solid tripod at a affordable price. Its design and builds show attention to detail that you just don't see at this price point, and it's proven to be a easy to use, reliable rig over the last six months. And again, you guys know when I get out there and test things, I really beat the hell out of them. So yeah, I would definitely recommend the Centennial if you're in the market for a new tripod. So. Now let's shift gears over to that giveaway that we have going on. We have four prizes that we're giving away this month. We have a GoPro 8 Black, we have a GoPro 7 Black, we have a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, we have a $100 Adorama gift card, and each of the winners will get a Octopad. The contest runs till April 15th, 2020. So to enter, time is getting a little close right now. Here's what you need to do to enter. Step one, like this video. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. Step three, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, that's it. For complete details on the giveaway, check out the description below. Where well, there you go, guys, a quick, review on the Centennial Tripod from the Colorado Tripod Company. If you found this review to be helpful, hit the like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Smash the hell out of that bell to be notified each time we come out with a new video. All right, guys. Well, it is now 5.30. I'm going to go get dinner that my wife has already ordered from us, and you get out there and create your best shot.